Hey guys, Alex from European Coffee Trip and in this video I will show you Gina Smart Coffee Brewer by Goat Story. So, Gina got on the radar of specialty coffee fans thanks to Emi Fukuhari, who is the World Brewers Cup Champion 2018 and she used Gina on the stage and won the title. What you need to know is that Gina is a European product and it's created by the team of Goat Story in Slovenia. They successfully found their coffee gadget through Kickstarter. You might have heard of Goat Mac that raised over 400,000 US dollars in 2014 and then Gina raised over 500,000 US dollars in 2016. But what is important that unlike some of the other Kickstarter coffee projects, they keep delivering good stuff. We had a chance to use Gina for several months and we decided to share our thoughts with you, but let's make coffee first. There are a few things that I really like about Gina, so let's talk about some of the features that make it different than other brewers on the market. So, this is Gina Smart Coffee Brewer. What you need to know is there are two versions of Gina's. This is the smart one, it's more expensive, it's about 240 US dollars. And there's the regular one, this costs about 140 US dollars. And what you get for extra money you pay is the inbuilt scale that is inside in this button part that connects through the Bluetooth to your phone where you can download the app and you can make a connection and measuring very, very easily. So the main benefit of the app is that it helps you to navigate through all three different brewing styles and when it receives the data from the scale, you can see in real time how you are brewing and it helps you to do all the steps correctly and in time. Moreover, you can actually store your brewing recipes or share them with the community of coffee brewers around the world. Another cool feature of Gina is this valve on the side because you can really play and adjust your brewing recipes and brewing style because you can use like totally immersion coffee brewing if you keep it closed or you can open it up and use it similar to any other dripper like T60. Or you can mix it up and uh, play with it a lot and you can keep it open for a certain time and close it. And that's what Amy Fukuhari did. She played a lot and she won the champion's title. So what we like about Gina is that it combines three different brewing methods. So you can have a pour over, you can have an immersion and you can have a drip coffee. So actually you have one device and you can use it for the three different purposes. So actually you are saving money by buying just one device. And actually you receive it everything in one package. So the package is quite expensive if you look first. But then if you consider what is inside, there is also the vessel, carafe, and there are scales that cost quite a lot of money if you want to purchase them separately. So if you put all these different items and all the accessories, I think it's a really good value for money you get. There are a few things we don't like that much. Gina is rather a big brewer and if you don't plan on keeping it on the counter, it will occupy a lot of space. The lid doesn't attach perfectly to the top of the brewer, so we were worried about breaking it down. Having the app to help with brewing is great, but we like sometimes to go analog with coffee. So it was a burden to use our phone every single time, so sometimes we use external scale to help us with weighing the coffee. Similarly, you need to constantly check if Gina is charged to connect with the phone. It's not a problem for many, but it was a negative point for us. So the most important question is, who is Gina for? If you are just starting with specialty coffee, you love tech gadgets, you love mobile apps, you can get just Gina and you will be totally fine. Actually, you will probably love it. If you already have some coffee brewers and scales at home, Gina might just take additional space on your shelf. So it might be better to save money for some good quality coffee. Thank you guys for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Let us know in the comments what you think about Gina. And if you have it, if you use it, we'd love to know what is your experience. Thank you again. And uh, I would love to see you in the next video that will come very, very soon. So thank you. Bye bye.